What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Louise, Coach Review back again, and that's right. Today we're going to be doing a little review on a company better known as Javi Coffee. Now, I said on my recent uh, channel update that I'm going to be doing a review on clickbait products or just products in general that you can find on Instagram and Facebook that are advertised on there. And naturally, you know, if it's on YouTube or Facebook or or Instagram or you know TikTok or whatever social media platform that you're using. Understand there's a lot of people that do reviews for livings. Now, I don't do a review for a living, but I think I have some sort of affiliate link with this company, and I'm not actually sure if I do or if I don't. I gotta look into it. If I do, I'll just put it on here somewhere. But I want to give everyone a heads up about this company, Javi Coffee. Now, their website is try.javicoffee.com. You know, pretty simple. It's a micro dose coffee concentrate company. And there's a couple things that I like. You know, you guys know there's whenever a company does something good, uh, I like to talk about it. You know, I did it with the beef jerky company and I did it with the the spring water company, you know, how they donate money to charitable causes and the uh bearded jerky, they give, you know, their jerky. Uh, they give away free bags of jerky away to uh, homeless centers or kids in need or schools, you know. So they do honorable things. And I like companies that do honorable things. And, you know, I thought about it. You know, I'm an avid coffee drinker. I drink coffee every day. You know, I, I make it at home. And I'm going to go into showing you how I make my coffee at home. I'm going to put together a little video. I have two ways of doing it. I do This coffee, Javi coffee, is sourced from... Probably the best Arabica coffee beans out there. Okay, it's 100% Arabica coffee. And I'm going to tell you this. If you have high expectations of tasting, you know, this coffee and thinking it's like a Starbucks coffee or a Dutch Brothers coffee or Dunkin' Donuts or something like that, scratch that. Okay, even 7-Eleven coffee. You know, if you have a certain kind of coffee, whether it's Caribou or whoever, whatever company you're drinking coffee, uh, chock full of nuts, uh, whatever coffee company that you prefer on a daily basis, this is unlike any of them, okay? It's got its own signature taste to it, and it's very easy to make. All you need is, like, either a to-go coffee cup or a mason jar if you're into that whole Southern American you know, like iced tea in a mason jar type of thing, like unsweetened tea in a mason jar. Or if you like your coffee, or let me say it as an American, coffee. If you like your coffee, or coffee, I think that's the real way of saying it, is coffee. But I'm a New Yorker, so we say coffee. <laughs> so uh, if you like your coffee a certain way, or a certain style, this is unlike any other style or way. So don't expect to have your 7-Eleven brew or your, your Starbucks brew or whatever brew it is that you like in this bottle. This is completely different. It's on an identity all on its own. To me, it tastes like a drip coffee, you know, that you can make actually pretty quick. It just requires one to two teaspoons. Now, I use three teaspoons, and I believe at one teaspoon, it equals 60 milligrams of caffeine at one teaspoon. And I'm pretty sure to one teaspoon is 60, unless it's, uh, unless it's two. I could be wrong. But let me, let me check out some facts. Okay, so that was their facts. That was the Javi facts, okay, and what they, you know milligram dosages of caffeine are. But you know what? Let's check out the competitors out there. Let's see what caffeine ratings they're at. Okay, so those of you who know and watch my channel, you guys know that I actually do the research before I put out a video. So I went to caffeineinformer.com. Now this is a great site for you to look up any kind of coffee, soft drink, energy drink, tea, energy shot, or water out there that contains any type of calories or caffeine in the product okay now this is great because if you go to one if you want to do research on a specific product whether it's ice cream or a drink or whatever the case may be it's on this site basically so it's actually pretty funny what you could find in here now 
If I look at 7-Eleven brewed coffee, it's the first thing on here. Per 16 fluid ounces of coffee from them, there's 5 calories, which isn't bad at all. But it contains 280 milligrams of coffee. Now, the scale for this is since we have 16 fluid ounces, it's 17.5 milligrams of caffeine per fluid ounce. So if you do the math, the 17.5 per fluid ounce, there's 16 ounces, so therefore 17.5 times 16, which I'm guessing comes out to the total of 280 milligrams of caffeine, which is a lot of caffeine for a small cup of coffee at 7-Eleven. That's, that's pretty astonishing. But it's pretty interesting to see how the competitors are, see how high the dosages of milligrams of caffeine there are per ounce you know it's pretty astonishing i mean baskin robbins has a mocha java chip that's 283 milligrams of caffeine i mean that's just crazy and that's ice cream so that's something else but on a daily i've been doing about three teaspoons of the javi coffee and i take the javi coffee and i'll just zoom on the bottle so you can see what i'm talking about Okay, so that's, there it is, Javi Coffee. It's in a amber glass bottle, okay? Now, the reason why they put it in an amber-colored glass bottle is A, uh, amber actually deflects a lot of the sunlight, so if you leave it out in the open in the sun, uh, the sun will not be penetrating as easy as it would be on clear glass. Also, they do it in these amber glass bottles for another reason. So to limit the amount of waste, they use the high quality amber glass. And I thought that was actually pretty cool that they do that because the glass bottle actually costs more money. Now, if you're going to be talking about costs also, one bottle of this, if you're not part of their coffee club, it'll cost $19.95. Now, hear me out. They say it's 30 servings per bottle. And the average American, let's say if you go to, let's just say you go to Dunkin' Donuts. Right. Dunkin' Donuts, if you get a, a large coffee, you know, served however you want with half and half and two sugars, or if you want a coffee regular or whatever the case is you want, right? Let's just say just plain old drip coffee you get. All right. What's the cost? It could probably cost you anywhere between five and seven dollars pending. And then they have that little tip cup over there and you feel kind of guilty not throwing a tip in there. So maybe just throw the loose change in there. Or unless you like your guy or girl and they make your coffee just right and you throw like two, three bucks in there. Do that on a daily basis, okay? So if you spend on average $10 a day, that's $300 a month, okay? And that's uh, $3,600 a year. Now, just imagine what you could be doing with that $3,600. That's a lot of money right there. Now, if you spend 20 bucks and not be a member to this company. If you're a member and part of their coffee club, it's only gonna cost like 17 or 16.95, I think, or something like that, and you get 30 cups of coffee out of this one bottle. I drank about a third of this bottle so far, and I have to say something. Is it the greatest coffee in the world? No, not by any means. I've had better coffee from other nationalities and other, you know, I've had Turkish coffee, I've had Hungarian coffee, I had Albanian coffee, Colombian coffee, Greek coffee is my favorite, the frappe from Greek, uh, all the Greeks out there, you know what, you, you know who I'm, you know what I'm talking about, those, uh, the Greeks from Astoria, Queens, they get that frappe coffee, that's, that's awesome coffee, but um, I'll tell you this, I've had every nationality type of coffee, whether Italian, American, this, that, or whatever, I had it all, and, you know, there's a lot of good coffee, there's a lot of good coffee out there. You know, they're just plain old is. However, if you're looking for something that's quick and easy and on the go, this actually takes the cake in that department. And the reason why I say that is because if in the event, let's say you go camping or in a long bus trip somewhere, let's say you're taking a bus halfway across America and you're somewhere in between states and the bus isn't stopping and you want to drink some coffee, take like, I don't know, a cap full of this. You can measure it by the cap. Take a cap or two, put it in your water bottle, shake it up and drink it. You'll get the taste of coffee 
on the go. So I think that's actually pretty good. If you go camping and you don't want to have to bring, you know, a, a, a water kettle that you got to boil water on a fire and then risk burning your hands on and then having coffee grinds and, you know, having the coffee grinds possibly compromised by ants or bugs that are out in the forest or something, you know, you could just have a bottle of this in your backpack, just take it and pour it in a bottle of water, shake it up in the morning. Uh, you know, if you get a cup of hot water, if somebody does have a kettle and you want some hot water, then you could do that. You know, however you want it, you could have it and it's quick and easy. Okay. That's what I like. It's simple and it's easy. Now, the other thing is the caffeine, even though the dosage seems kind of low per teaspoon, I do three teaspoons and I get a coffee rush and a half. I don't know what it is. But for some oddball reason, when I drink this coffee, I get one hell of a rush. And that's impressive. Okay. So I want to turn our attention over to how I make coffee. So I'm going to zoom in to how I make coffee on a daily basis. And then I'm going to show you how I make JV coffee or Javi coffee. Okay. I'm going to show you how I make this. Now... I'm going to show you how I make this. Now, also keep in mind, this is not an unboxing video and showing you what the coffee comes with. When I got this, it came with two brass straws that you could put in a mason jar. If you go to their website, try.javicoffee, you'll see how to make it in the whole nine yards. Very easy, easy and simple. You could use, you could get a cup of ice, throw the Javi uh, two teaspoons in there, pour milk in there, or hot water or cold water with ice, however you want it, shake it up, throw your sugar or sweetener or uh, liquid sugar or, you know, whatever you put in there. Or you could actually do, you can make a Filipino style coffee or not Filipino, maybe a Vietnamese coffee. Vietnamese coffee is the best. You take uh, sweet condensed milk, put it over ice, put the Javi coffee in, put some hot water in there and, you know, the hot water is actually going to bring the flavor out in the coffee when it's over the ice and then you shake it up really good stick a straw in there and drink it down and you'll be good you know and that's the nice thing that's a really cool thing and i really do appreciate the different things you could do you could do whipped creams you could mix this in with whipped cream if you if you make whipped cream at home let's say you get like a heavy whipping cream you put a teaspoon of this in heavy whipping cream and then you take your blender and brrrr, 
and you make whipped cream and the Javi is in the whipped cream. So you can have, let's say, your own brewed coffee at home, take a scoop of uh, micro-dose coffee that's in whipped cream and put it on top of your coffee. You know, put sprinkles or cinnamon or chocolate powder or whatever it is you want. But that's just another way to get more caffeine. So there's a lot of different things you could do with the coffee concentrate, which is pretty interesting. You know, now I've seen a lot of people do reviews on this product and, you know, a lot of people say good things about it. Do I think it's the best coffee in the world? No, I've had better coffee, but do I think it's actually pretty smart? Do I think it's actually something that you could use if you're like a doomsday prepper? It's got a one year shelf life. So if you buy it today, it's good for a year. And if you want to save yourself 3,600 bucks, you know, what would it cost you a year? You know, 240 bucks a year if you go through a bottle of this every month. You know, if you go through a bottle of this in a month, it's going to cost you 240 bucks a year, which isn't bad at all. And they got specials on the site that if you buy three bottles, you save eight bucks. So that's actually pretty cool. So instead of spending $19.99 on each bottle, you can get it for $16.95 each bottle. You know, and you could be part of the coffee club. Now, I don't know anybody who's going to go through three bottles of this a month. But if you do, you're one hell of a coffee drinker. You're way bigger of a coffee drinker than I ever will be. So that's it. So I wanted to get into, I wanted to dive down and look into this. So let's check out their website real quick. Then I'll have my final thoughts. So I checked out the website. Pretty nice and snazzy website. Gives you the prices, tells you if you want to be part of the club or if you don't want to be part of the club, shows you how to mix it, shows you all the beautiful people out there that did reviews on this and gave it ranting, raving remarks. Um, do I think it's a great idea? Absolutely great idea, okay? Do I think it's the best coffee in the world? No, no, it's really not. Does it taste good though? Yeah, it tastes good. It's not my most favorite coffee in the world, but it's definitely doable. And if I'm looking to save money, this is actually a good way to save money. You know, if you're that type of person that looks over your finances and then you realize how much money you spent on something that you could probably, you know, downsize or do something a little bit easier, maybe more cost effective, this could be the way, folks. So look into it if you want. You know, check out tryjavicoffee.com and uh, check out the website and tell me what your thoughts are. Like I said, not amazing tasting coffee but actually pretty good coffee you know i'm not gonna lie it's pretty good coffee it's pretty smooth it has a nice aftertaste um you know when you drink it it's actually pretty smooth i, I like it. it tastes a little watered down and then if you add too many teaspoons it gets a little too strong the caffeine so try to watch out be careful do not consume large dosages of this because you are increasing the amount of caffeine that you're intaking. So just be careful, okay? Remember, it's coffee concentrate. It's not liquid down, it's not watered down, not diluted or anything like that. So the bottle is probably a higher dosage of milligrams, but if you're only using a teaspoon, you're getting the lower dosage. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you use more of this, I'm sure it's gonna increase the amount of milligrams of caffeine. So please be careful and be mindful of what you're doing. And that's all I gotta say. So from me to YouTube, peace out, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, remember to put the notifications on videos because you'll never know if I post a video or not without it. Peace, ladies.